Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adorkable Rachel and it's time for another episode of Muppet Monday! So last week, Labyrinth was in theaters for three days. I hope you guys went and saw it because it was actually really amazing to see it on the big screen. Again. I actually saw it before when they released the Blu-ray for the 30th anniversary, but I went and saw it again because it's Labyrinth and it's Jim Henson and why wouldn't you go see it in the big screen? It did look really awesome seeing everything up close again and seeing all the puppets and all the effects and everything, but of course, uh, just like the Dark Crystal, some of the green screen effects were not that amazing. But other than that, it was still really cool to see. Sorry if you guys missed out on it. I'm sure they'll do it again at some point. Just uh, keep an eye out on the news for any screenings I might have of more Jim Henson films in the future. But but since I did get the chance to go see Labyrinth in the theaters, I decided to do another unboxing, but this time it's gonna be with Labyrinth merchandise! We did something like this a couple weeks ago when the Dark Crystal was in theaters, and we opened up some Dark Crystal stuff, some Funkos, other cool items, and to be honest, I don't know exactly why they released Labyrinth now, there wasn't like a big anniversary or anything like that, or a new Blu-ray, we had that a couple years ago, but... Hey, the Dark Crystal was in theaters, so why not Labyrinth 2, I guess. In this movie, there really is so much to love about it, and it's no surprise that it has a really big cult following, but there's also no denying that it's a bit of a hot mess. I mean, I won't lie, it's pretty cool to see David Bowie up close like that, especially with the wig and the hair and the package. Anyway, Labyrinth. It's a hot mess, but you know what? It's our beautiful hot mess. We love it no matter what. Jim Henson once again wanted to push the limits to see what you could do with puppetry, and he just did a fantastic job from a technical standpoint. Also, if you want to see my full thoughts on Labyrinth, I did a video on it a couple years ago. I'll put the link in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out. Also, something I did not expect was before the movie, they showed the storyteller episode, The Soldier and Death, which is actually one of my favorite episodes from that series, but I guess they were doing it to kind of promote that they now had it available on Stars to watch. So, if by chance you have a subscription to the Stars Network, you can now watch the entire series of The Storyteller on the app. And it was also digitally remastered, which was really cool, again, to see on the big screen. Seeing all those, like, devils and death and just all that awesome 80s cinematography. Even though it's available on a different app, it's still really cool that they're making these things more accessible for us to watch. Also, a big shout out to the Muppet Stuff blog, which is hosted by my friend Chris Stoles. They're the ones hosting this video. Chris loves featuring Jim Henson and Muppet-related news, and believe me when I say, it is the best blog to visit if you're looking for updates and news on Muppet merchandise. And again, this right here is merchandise, so what a great time to be hosted. Chris is an awesome guy, so if you want updates on Muppet merchandise, then be sure to check out his blog. Link is right here, and I'll also I'll include it in the description down below. Okay, so this time we're gonna start off with a figurine. I did buy some Pop Funkos, of course, and as I said in my other video, yes, I know people like to collect these and keep them in the boxes, but nope, I love these things so much, I wanna be able to see them, so I'm taking it out. First up, we have, I love this, I love this combination. We've got Sarah and the worm. You know that blue worm that appeared in the movie for like a minute and a half? Yeah, apparently he's popular enough that he got his own little figurine. Again, I just love these little figurines because they look just like the characters, even though they have these simple little black eyeball designs with her little, you know, vest and 80s shirt. And she's even got the little bracelet. I don't know if you can see it that close, but she's got the little bracelet that she gives to Hoggle in the movie. And she's even got a little clip. Oh my God, she's so cute. I don't care if your acting was bad in the movie, Jennifer Connelly. You did the best you could. You did. Plus, you got better. And it's so tiny, but here's the worm. The, nah, I'm just a worm. Just a worm. Come and meet the missus. Oh. What was this worm's deal anyway? He had such a great design, but he never came back up in the movie. And he even has a little red scarf, too. I wanted to know more about this worm. And just like Kira and Physigig, I gotta make sure these two stay together. Then they'll be completely invaluable if they are not together. Up next in the Pop Funko department, we have... I actually really like Hoggle in the movie. Brian Henson puppeteered this character, you know, remotely, I believe, and I, I mean, he just, his, his face is just so expressive in the film, even though it's like, obviously a headpiece on top of a person, but still, like, I, when I watched this movie, I totally believe that Hoggle's like a real person, goblin thing. So I've got him right here, and this is interesting. On the box, he seems to have a pretty um clean face, as you can see, but here, he's actually like really dirty, so, I'm wondering and I'm hoping that means that it's because that's the actual figure, that's how they designed him and not because this was like an old thing that they sent me. But I mean, he does look dirty in the movie, so maybe that's supposed to look right. Um, but again, just look at this, like, you can even see the stitching on his little hat here. Don't worry, Hoggle, if it turns out you are used, 
I forgive you, Hoggle. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, you know what? I just noticed also he has the bracelet too. He has the bracelet Sarah gave him. Wait a minute, one of these bracelets is an imposter. And the final Funko that we have in today's collection is the original Jareth. There are actually three Jareths from what I found online. There's this one, and then there's like a much more like fancier one, and then there's also like a really shiny one. But um, the others are a little expensive online right now, so I just had to kind of resolve to this one for now. But whatever, I mean, he still looks awesome, and he's even got his little whip thing and oh my god you can see his package <laughs> they even had that little detail that hair though man that hair i mean only david bowie could pull off that hair looking like that and still be taken seriously i don't know how they did it but damn was he sexy dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic, dance. you know what though i'm a little Surprise, they actually don't have a Sir Didymus character as a Pop Funko. They only have Sarah, Jareth, other Jareth, Ludo, and Hoggle, according to the back here. And also the special sparkly Jareth, but why not Sir Didymus? He was a memorable enough character. Why can't they have him riding the little sheepdog? That would have been really adorable. Unfortunately, that's all I have for Funkos this time around. I did also order a Ludo, but that one is taking its sweet time. Ludo was a hard one to find, actually, at least for like a relatively cheaper price, but um, I'll definitely post him on Instagram when I get him. Next up in our Labyrinth merchandise department, I actually got something that I I did not get for the Dark Crystal one, and that is a t-shirt! This is actually a men's small, and I kind of did that intentionally because I wanted something that was relatively a little bit bigger. Look at this. Um, I'm gonna take this thing off. Dye supplemented print. Each item is unique hand printed in the USA. Huh. But look, it's basically the poster with Jareth and Sarah and like all the characters. How cool is that? All right. Ta-da! I can now officially say that I have had Bowie on my chest. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> enough. Up next, this might seem a little deja vu if you saw my Dark Crystal haul video, but couldn't resist. We've got the Labyrinth, the ultimate visual history book. I'm pretty sure this is a lot like the Dark Crystal one because again, we got the circles with all the, um, some pictures from the movie, as well as some conceptual pictures. Let's open up the packaging and take a look at what's inside. Oh, this is really neat. There's actually a forward from Toby Fraud in the movie, the guy who played Toby in the movie. That's baby Toby. And that's adult Toby. Looks like he grew up to be just as much of a nerd as the rest of us. And there's an introduction from Brian Henson, and also here's Brian right here with Hoggle. This, again, just a great little coffee book with so many little things. Yep, it's just like the Dark Crystal book. There's like notes, like little attachable notes in here. Also, that's a nice little picture of Jim Henson. Open it up, lots of things, storyboards, uh, lots of beautiful conceptual art. Oh, this is cool. This is like a technical note right here, like for building the puppets. Brian likes the character and spontaneity of snip foam as a puppet building medium. His feeling is that in the progression of technical problems arising between clay and sculpt and latex skin, compromises are sometimes necessary, which can detract from the character as originally conceived. You want to like learn about the whole entire production of the movie? This is probably a good place to look at it. Oh, look at this. Jim Henson invites you and a guest to drop by for pre-filming drinks and eats on Saturday, the April 13th. Anytime from 6 to 11 p.m.? Oh man, they like to party back in the 80s. Oh, you know what? I really like this. Here's David Bowie and behind him is the guy who actually did the crystal hand thing. If you didn't know, those were not actually David Bowie's hands. That was someone who's like a special ball artist guy, I don't know, but they had someone else do that. Yeah, there's so many great things in here about the different characters, not just the puppets, but also the humans. There's pictures on how the characters were designed originally, and then also some behind the scenes characters, like look at that, there's Ludo without his head. Oh no, Ludo! Oh, you know what, there's also a whole section here about the staircase scene, which I'm personally excited to read about because even I'm like insanely curious to see how they filmed all of that. I don't think I've seen a video yet that like exemplifies how they made that scene happen film-wise. Um, yeah, I really want to check that out. Oh, there's even some stuff in here about merchandise. I don't think they covered that in the Dark Crystal book. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, yeah, they've got like everything in here. So if you want to find out more about Labyrinth and learn about the filmmaking and see some behind the scenes stuff, then definitely get this book. 
And finally, this has actually been out for quite a while and some of you might be surprised to know that I did not buy this until I finally got everything for this haul, but I also now finally have the 30th anniversary edition of Labyrinth Blu-ray. Yeah, like I said, this has actually been out since they re-released the movie in theaters back in 2016 for the 30th anniversary, and I actually did not buy it right away, but I finally have it now. And you know what? It's exactly like the Dark Crystal one. It looks just like a book, like if you put it on the shelf, but then you open it and it's the Blu-ray. And I've also got my digital version, yay. Oh, this is really neat. There's actually an interview with David Bowie in here about Labyrinth. David Bowie talks about Labyrinth Q&A. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh, here's one more nice little picture. Here's a good one of Jim and Jennifer right there. I like that. And unlike the Dark Crystal Blu-ray, this one does not have a spoiler on it. It's just Jared and the baby, Toby. And also a really cool image of Sarah dropping into that pile of garbage. Oops. No! No, don't be scratched. Oh my god. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Oof. Anyway, like I was saying, there's Sarah dropping into the garbage. All new special features, which means I think that these ones were not on the previous Blu-ray. Recording time, looking back at Labyrinth, the Henson legacy, remembering the Goblin King. Oh, that's right. He passed away before this got released. Labyrinth anniversary Q&A and theatrical trailer. Yay! And there's also like the making of documentary inside the Labyrinth, journey through the Labyrinth, kingdom of characters and quests of Goblin City. Yeah, I think that stuff was on the previous Blu-ray. Oh, this is awesome. And yeah, actually I was wondering if this was in 4K too, and apparently, yes it is, now fully remastered in 4K. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, some scenes aren't gonna look so great, but for the most part it does. And the front of it is the poster, the original poster again, and look, even his little crystal is like shining, and so is the Labyrinth logo. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's shiny. In today's haul, we've got a t-shirt, we've got a awesome book, we have the Blu-ray, and I've also got all the awesome little Pop Funkos, or at least most of them. So, if you want to support the Jim Henson Company, or just Labyrinth in general, then be sure to get this Blu-ray, get the book, hey, even get the Pop Funkos, I'm sure those won't hurt. Thank you so much for watching, that's it for today's haul, maybe we'll do another one in the future with Muppet or more Jim Henson related stuff, but now I want to know, what kind of Labyrinth merchandise do you have, guys? Do you have any of the Pop Funkos I don't have? Do you have any of the comic books? Did you get a chance to see the special features on the new Blu-ray? And if so, What'd you think of those? Let me know what you guys have, and also let me know, did you go see Labyrinth on the big screen? And if so, what did you think? Well, go ahead and leave your comments below, be sure to like and share, and if you're new and like what you saw here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also be sure to hit the little bell button down there to get notified when new stuff comes out, because I make new videos every week! Bye, Durka Buddies, I'll see you soon! Mm -hmm. Bye! I want my little brother back! What's done is done, Sarah.